guys and welcome back to my channel it's been a long time since I filmed um, it's okay baby since I filmed a video an update video yeah I've been quite busy this last two months because especially this month because you know we are doing the wedding preparations and um, yeah we are nearly there so there's a lot of appointments you know makeup trials hair trials you know all that uh, facials and uh, trying to sort out last details with the venue this and that having a baby as well and you know and trying to navigate through all that is not easy so that's why I haven't been too consistent with my channel I've recently posted a video about how to plan your wedding in you know in the middle of the pandemic if you want to check it out I will link it somewhere there so yeah I haven't even got time to actually promote the last video I usually when I post a video I usually post it on my social media so people can view it but I was not able to do that it's just been very difficult and um, many things as well happening this baby is growing now she's four months it's been a long time since I've had her in a sling like this it's getting fussy lately like she can't be put down but usually she will always get fussy if I put it down and all that but it feels like it's getting a bit worse you know it, you know it's this anxiety thing that you know when babies start to realize that the baby and the mom is not one person but two different people so maybe that's what she's experiencing now but apart from that she's fine she's growing we I'm still feeding her with the formula she's gonna get she's gonna sleep in a bit she's been a bit fussy because she's tired so yeah we I'm giving her formula and I'm still breastfeeding mainly in the night but during the day as well I said top up really because I don't know uh, I've got my period last month so this month I had my second period as well I know that's TMI but for all the moms there you know you know how it is and then when you get your period usually your supply drops and that's what happens to me because usually if I don't feed her before if I didn't feed her for like five or six hours my my breast will get very you know full of milk and I will feel very uncomfortable but now it doesn't happen like this it will randomly just leak but I don't feel they don't get hard after a few hours I will try and breastfeed her until she's six months and then I'll see how I feel about it because for me it's not I don't love it to be honest and that's fine so but at least I want to breastfeed her until she's six months that's what they recommend anyway and then we can start with solids and all that yeah and at nights as well still waking up basically the first you know when I put her down at about 8 or 9 o'clock then she'll wake up at about 3 o'clock and then she will wake up after one or two hours again and I think because my milk supply is low and I think she's not satisfied with my milk I don't know when she's gonna sleep throughout the night for 12 hours and un un uninterrupted but for now that's the case with us so she's asleep now apart from that we will be fine um, yeah wedding preparations it's been crazy and uh, things have happened as well with family be of drama and this and that personal stuff but anyway doesn't matter it's not even two weeks before the wedding we are nearly there and my hands is this Saturday which I'm very excited about and I wish the weather here was 
better look is i will show you in a minute it's horrible weather this may is like winter we had a good march and april was okay but may every, every almost every single day it's been raining 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 just hit the weather you can't wear something else apart from your winter clothes it doesn't feel like spring yeah i've got a few favorites for this month that i got i'm trying not to shop as much now because i realize that i've been shopping a lot and i don't want to pass the message to others that you know feel like they have to shop because that's not the case i'm usually very good at saving and all that but i think you know pandemic having a baby and all that that was just a way to escape a little bit you know to feel like i'm gonna purchase something for when i go out or whatever so yeah it's just make you feel you know just an exciting feeling that you know shopping shopping gives you really when things open up you can wear something nice if you're good and all that but yeah i'm gonna show you a few bits i got the weather is confused one minute it was raining now you see the sun comes out so you know confused.com seriously and this girl she just doesn't want to sleep she does not she barely sleeps during the day so when moms tell you sleep when your baby sleeps i'm like when exactly because as soon as she sleeps and that's my time to finally do something and by do something essential things you know she doesn't give me a break to be honest she doesn't but anyway yeah so as you can see I've changed to my to the stuff that I bought yeah I got this uh, lipstick is from um, that's what I usually use from NYX because I want it for the wedding day for the reception so that's why I got it um, so yeah I like it because it's matte and it stays there for long and I got this uh, I got it from Boots anyway these two from Boots and I got this pencil as well it's not really exactly the uh, same color but it works it's, it's still the same you know it's reddish so it does the job so that's wet and wild that's the eye pencil not the eye pencil the lip pencil so yeah the lip liner i would say yeah so yeah this one i really re recommend it i love it and i don't know if that shade suits me i'm not sure but you know whatever so yeah that's one thing i got and um the next is this top from primark when i saw it i just I was in love with it I just love the color I think this color really suits me it's a very summery color you know I like the satin and all that I will show you the whole outfit and the shorts I'm wearing that's from Asda don't know if you can see so I put them together I don't know if they go together exactly but and then I got this earring that I've discovered from a shop in in the mall at the mall so I like that it's um, you know it's a chain earring it's very unique and yeah I just love it I love everything I love chains in general I love chains on the bags I love chains on my neck as bracelets all that so yeah earrings as well and I got these um, earrings as well. These hooks. Is it hooks? Is it hooks? Hooks or hoops? I don't remember. Yeah, I just love it. It's, it's another unique piece for me. I've started going to the gym. Well, I've been there twice, you know, in the last month and this month because we are so busy. So um, when my partner is at home, 
when he's, he's not working he can look after Iris and then I can go to the gym but if he's working all the time then it's difficult you know but anyway and then I got this um, bag this envelope bag from New Look very cheap it was on sale I got some heels as well from there but I'm gonna return the heels I thought that the height of the heel it will be you know comfortable for me but no heels are not made for my feet you know so I will return them because I love comfortable clothes I love comfortable heels I can't you know so I'm gonna return them so yeah that's the bag which I love I love it's quite unique as well I think it was four pounds or six pounds very cheap I mean it's on sale so and you can use with the chain or without the chain as just to hold it like an envelope I'm gonna have that for my hands party this is why I got it and then another thing from Primark is this I've been looking for this kind of bag for ages I would prefer it to be black to be honest so I can wear it through the night very cheap as again from Primark I don't know how much it was maybe 10 quid or even less so you have all these you know I think I'm not sure if I like those but you know it just add to the look anyway and if you want if I think you can make it more of a night bag if you remove that if you remove that and then just leave the chain it's more like a night bag otherwise if you like for a day bag you can leave you know this um, you can leave this and yeah I love the you know crocodile kind of pattern and yeah I'll be looking for, for this kind of bag for ages it's, it's a kind of it's a dupe for you know the famous designer bag I don't know which designer is but I think it's a designer bag so yeah and then yeah that's the heels I was talking about I thought that you know it was going to be comfortable because it's not that eh, eh, eh. it's not that high but no nah it's and it says most comfy ever that tricked me yeah that tricked me that's why I got it but it's not my feet oh, it's just it. I hate heels it's so difficult to find nice pair of heels that is comfortable and usually it's block heels which block heels are not the most flattering or sexy so yeah story of my life I don't know what to do with this girl sometimes it's just you see how tall oops you see how tall she is now this one was up to here now it's you know she's growing a lot that's what they're saying about babies isn't it anyway last thing I got is this shoes for Irish let me see yep very cute Primark again I don't usually buy from Primark but if I see something nice and cheap why not and this as well so I'm gonna choose one for her to wear for my wedding day you see what I mean I can't put her down she starts to scream so yeah that's the shorts I got from Asda and I really I don't really buy shorts because they don't fit nicely on my body so yeah as I was saying I don't really buy shorts but I think this kind of shorts they really suit my body because usually my bum area is suffocating in most of the shorts or trousers that I buy and, and yeah that's top as well I think they look nice together it's a nice summer outfit I think I'm not sure what do you think yeah so I think I'm gonna start buying more shorts it's not fat at all and you see my body 
I'm very happy with my progress and even though I'm not going to the gym much I think my body is looking nice for four months you know postpartum you know I think my belly has gone down a lot so so yeah this is me four months postpartum I'm gonna end this video here and I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe like this video share it with other people and your friends or whatever and show some love and support and let me know what you think and I'll see you very very soon bye now bye bye say bye say bye if you're always boy always crying always mourning wait 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 wait